How's it going, Geometry Crew? Today we're going to look at 5.1, mid segments of triangles. We don't have as many proofs this chapter, so go ahead and do your cheering. But here we go. This, this chapter is a lot of vocab, guys. In fact, we'll probably have a vocab quiz before this is all said and done. Okay, mid segment. What's a mid segment? Well, we know what a segment is, and it's halfway in between both of them. What is is a segment that connects two points to two midpoints of the two sides of a triangle. So this right here would be a midpoint. Midpoint, connect the dots, cuts each side in half. Okay. I could draw another one if I put a midpoint here. So let's say these two halves are equal. And I connect these. That'd be another mid segment. Maybe another mid segment segment. Look at that. A triangle inside of a triangle. Hmm. All right. So we have a triangle mid-segment theorem. I'm gonna give you guys a second to write. Then I'll give you my story. What it says is if you have a mid-segment like DE cuts each of the sides in half, then DE is half the size of AB. Example, if AB was 10, then DE would be 5, okay, because it cuts this in half. Can I do this too? If this side was 12, then each of these would be 6, right? Just some stuff to think about. We're almost there. Okay. We have a triangle. Oh, right part. We have triangle X, Y, Z. This tool gets the wrong order. Right? A is the midpoint of X, Y. B is the midpoint of Y, Z. And C is the midpoint over here. What are the three pairs of parallel uh, lines? Only draw it in. Each mid segment is parallel to the side opposite. So here we have XZ be parallel to AB. Okay. And CB would be parallel to XY. And we have one more. Uh, AC would be parallel to the ZY. Okay. Okay, so that's A. Now let's take a look at B. This angle 65 degrees, right? We're looking for V, U, O, this one right here. Well, remember, these are parallel. Parallel lines crossed by a transversal. This is lower right, lower right, they're corresponding angles. So angle V, U, O, the measure of it, is going to be equal to 65 degrees by, you know, your good old corresponding, corresponding angles on parallel lines are congruent. Okay, we're almost there, guys. 60% of the way. Okay, suppose AD is 6, DE is 7.5. What are everything else? Okay, start with DC. Well, this tells me DC is going to be equal to. Here's DC right here. If this is if AD is six, DC has to be six because it's cut in half. Okay, so we got DC off the list. What about AC? Oh, what's six plus six, guys? Remember your segment addition postulate. 
sum of its pieces, so 6 plus 6 equals the whole thing. Well, 6 plus 6 is still 12 last time I checked. Done. EF. Well, this size 12. Number FE. FE equals 1 half AC, right? So FE equals 1 half 12, which is 6. And what about AB? Okay. Well, AB is going to be equal to 2 times whatever DE is, right? Well, DE is 7.5. So AB is going to be 15. Okay? Okay. Suppose there's a lake. You want to build a bridge over because you can't swim. Or you swim like a rock like Mr. Twilliger does. You see me fall in water, throw a life jacket in right away. CD is a bridge. What's the length of the bridge? Well, if this is 2640, you can see this D is the midpoint, C is the midpoint, so it's a mid segment. Mid segments are half the opposite side, so it's going to be 1 half 2640, which is going to be 13 20 feet. Guys, that's all there is to it. Your mid segments are parallel to the opposite side, and they cut the other two sides in half. Enjoy!